in San Jose, California, I'm going for a special spin. Here it is. Let's go for a ride. Imagery CEO Iran Ophir tells me this car works best when the driver takes his hands off the wheel. He's engaged. Ophir says this self-driving system has only a few cameras and doesn't need pre-planned maps or traditional laser-based distance detectors. It learns as it goes. It's a true AI system that teaches itself. The system built the map on the fly while driving, without memory, without getting it from the outside. Uh, it, looks, it looked around and understood everything because of the fact that it learns on the fly. It can drive almost out of the box everywhere. And where exactly is the brain of imagery's AI-driven system? Well, it's right here in the back of the car, self-contained. What exactly is that? This is essentially the brain of the entire system. We're using a 32-core CPU to calculate trillions of computations per second to allow us to see 360 degrees around and navigate the world. Okay. How does it compare to how a human thinks? Not even in the same ballpark. It can read signs, lights, spot pedestrians, and negotiate roads in dangerous traffic. Oh, no. Oh, no. no. Come on, man. Do the right thing. I did not do yeah, yeah, no, yeah. that. Bad human driving can pose a dilemma for autonomous test drives. Whoa! Oh, he just pulled oh, right oh, into oh, our oh. lane. Wow. Okay. Man. He just... Yeah, yeah. He just entered uh, he, uh, the, the lane without uh, even looking. In this case, our human driver's natural reaction forced him to take the wheel. Even though the autonomous vehicle was swerving to the left, the question is, would it have avoided the accident on its own? The human did not trust all the way the action that was taken by the vehicle to swerve and avoid the situation. Uh, so, so it's kind of a mindset that we will gradually have to trust uh, AI systems that we use. We still think that we can respond faster and safer and so on. But in many cases, this is not the case because the cameras and the computers they see things way ahead. That trust is happening in Israel, where Imagery's AI system is powering the country's first autonomous public bus. Imagery has also teamed up with Continental to provide what it calls true automated parking, because it actually locates available spots in which to autonomously park. Green is available, red is occupied, blue is available but not allowed. Ophir also says AI has helped them achieve something else key to the industry's future, making a self-driving system cheap enough to fit inside a $30,000 car. We had the automotive industry almost stalled in a way from technological perspective for the past 100 years. But in the next 10 years, we'll see everything that we know about vehicles changing. I believe that basically within three to five years, most of us will drive autonomous uh, vehicles. Mark New, CGTN, San Jose, California.